Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be quick and short video because I am going to just make you aware of two new releases that is there in the Power Apps which can allow you to build your business apps in a fast and very easy way. So I am going to cover those two new release features. So probably those features could be in preview on your tenant and probably already released. Let's cover that. So I am on my make.powerapps.com environment and over here on the home itself, I could see like I can start creating my simple apps using these sources. Start from blank app, data was SharePoint, SQL. Now I got two new members over here, image preview and Figma. So what are these? These are being released recently, which will allow you to make your quick farms using just images or Figma UI design. So I'll make you aware about it, how you can do that. And we'll just do a quick demo. So I initially I just pick this image preview. So what it does is like uh, for creating any power canvas app or building any form you wish to, then you have to just upload your image and rest of the work will be taken care by your power app. So if I click on image preview, you can see convert an image into an app. So you can upload your form image like that. And in the next step, when you say convert it to canvas app then it will be just created as in controls input controls on the form so there are some recommendations use a light background instead of having a colored background if i just click on next use clearly legible uh, forms that means like it should not be kind of clumsy form it should be clearing distinct input uh, control fields use one page form so we should be designing one form at a time, not like uh, the, the collection of forms. So that's the recommendation not to do uh, points. And I believe these are pretty much clear. And if I click on next, you can see it will ask me to upload my image. So first of all, I need to actually give a name. So let's say I wish to create one flight booking app and I will be uploading my own. So there are a uh, few options like uh, to, to, to pick from the samples, but I, I have just downloaded one image of flight booking app from internet and I wish to use that image. So I'll show you like what image I would be using. So this is my web form design image. Probably I just would like to have these few feeds and one button, which can give you from to one way departure and the number of uh, I mean passengers so this simple form I wish to have in my canvas app so that I need not to just create my form altogether placing all the input fields so that takes time so I'll just upload my own image let me just pick this one and I'll just choose the recommended type so because it detected like uh, the, the, how the my form uh, layout looks so it saying recommended is phone so i'll just select phone and in next step it will actually identify read out my image to identify the components it's input control it's a text field or checkbox so now you can see like it's it's highlighting all the controls whatever this power app smart component has detected so input control you can just select it you can just keep selecting it and see like what controls uh, these are mapping to and each tag is corresponding to the controls in this screen so you can just zoom on it and it will show you like it's a text box control and there are guidance which is being given you can have a look around it how how to have a proper control naming and all that and if I just go to next screen, it asks me to create a new data was table. So it's saying like for your canvas app, for your this form, you wish to create a corresponding table. You, if you want to have that uh, data source or tables to stay in Dataverse, you can simply say yes. And if you doesn't wish to have, you may want to track that into a different data source, SharePoint or somewhere else, then just skip for now and later on you can associate a data source. So if I just say yes, create a new data was table, if I click on next and it will start giving me this column options, you can see. So show tag components. 
these are input fields and the tagging each tag corresponds to a data column so it will it's smart enough to detect like what data column it should be there and when i say next it will just give me a look of my table and the internal name of those field and data type and if i just click create it will start creating my app as well as dataverse table simple fair so it loaded my app into canvas app studio you can see i have these fields loaded by default from to one way and departure all these information so if i wish to create all these fields using manually then probably like it may take 30 to 40 minutes for me but uh, because i have just created this field so probably i may require to adjust a bit uh, ui for this so i can do a bit of adjustments like to make it align properly for example i can just move it over here and just align properly but now you can see like the two field is uh, input text that's fine but my this the from field is label because while uploading images we did not actually change the type of this field so and how to do that like it's, it's basically like it's a mapping like uh, what components uh, you wish to have as label or uh, you wish to have as in just input controls so that's how like i'll show you like how to do that i'll just go back to my this form and i'll say like uh, don't save and i i can just again start with image preview and we'll show you how to do do that binding so we just saw like uh, our uh, let's say app one i'll upload my own image again the same image and this time i'll show you like how to actually change the binding of the controls so i just went to the next screen now you see like it's still is detecting that as label you can see like, hover on it you can see like uh, tagged as label so you can just click on this just change that to input so now it, it is changed to input the same way you can just keep on reading whatever you wish uh, to change the data type you can just simply this i wish to have this uh, passenger information as uh, uh, drop down because uh, one two three four i will just fill that as a drop down and this button is as actually tagged as button so right now I, i'll be good so i can just click on next and can skip the table for now and just quickly create it and now we will be seeing that all our binding the data type bindings what we have done should be there on the form so now you see on the form i have this from as input control instead of label to as well as input control and the date departure and the return date as date fields and there's a drop down and all like uh, we are pretty much set and we can just put one more label over here so just to create header we can also like uh, apply any of the themes to it just click on themes it will just apply the themes and you may wish to like increase the sizes of these controls a bit so that it can because the font size has increased for this and so we should be doing some adjustment for aligning it otherwise rest all the columns are there so probably you can see uh, if we wish to design this form from scratch it may take 30 minutes if i am a seasoned developer uh, uh, app creator and if i am just working it for the first time it may take more than that to apply and adjust, uh, adjust the styling to it if i have just designed form image get uh, which i got from my ui designer then i can simply upload that image and have that bind it to my this canvas f form so it, in playing it will just play with these controls so it's pretty quick way of creating pretty quick and easy way i would say uh, to create your to start building your apps so that was one i'll just save it and go back to my home screen so that's that's the way for those users like who actually want to pick the design form images and if you're you are having some figma ui expert which can create designs then there is one more option of having figma integrated with it so you, what you can do like you can just click on figma you can give your name and link to page or frame on the figma and the authentication token so whatever you get uh, from when when you sign it from your figma ui toolkit so this figma site figma.com where like it gives a web user interface to give you uh, to create your own designs so 
UI design designers who are actually using different different tool to build out the intuitive designs. So probably they are familiar how to build the designs on Figma. And if you're not, then you can start building your designs using the templates, whatever is being given from the Figma side. And there are many other resources on Figma resources dot com where you can just pick the template and can start building the uh, these these uh, designs in your canvas app. So you can pick those designs, just download, and from here in the Figma you can import the file. And later on, once your your design is ready, you can just have that Figma page published page link over here. Then it will start reading that into canvas app and you are done so if if your team is like a developer team and a ui designer team then probably it's a better sharing of work just get that ui design done from designer and have that integrated into your canvas app so these are two interesting and new ways of creating power canvas app just build your easy and quick way of forms so i hope like uh, these two features can be useful because i find it very much interesting for myself and excited about those so i think that's it for today if you have any other questions then do drop your comments and also subscribe to my channel thank you thanks for today